God be the glory, great things he hath done. And the praise God from whom all blessings flow. Today, people are hopeless, people are fearful. And so they try their endeavor best to be identified with groups or institutions that they believe can provide stability. But I know true stability only comes through Jesus Christ. And that is why I chose to be identified with the people of God. Being among the people of God and digging deep in the treasures of God's words, that is where hope is found. That's where fear is cast aside. And that is the source of power and where the power lies. And I tell you this, there is power in the name of Jesus. And when God's people call upon his name, something happens. For the past months, I can tell you, it has been very stressful for me. My father was sick. My son was sick. At the very same time, both of them were admitted in the hospital. My son was discharged first, then my father followed. And as soon as they were out, my son was back in again. And as soon as he was discharged, daddy was admitted. And as daddy came out, my son was in the hospital again. And I can tell you, it wasn't easy, but I went to the church and I asked to pray. And God's people call on his name on my behalf. And I tell you something happened. My father has Alzheimer's disease. And he got a stroke. In Jamaica we would say once a man twice a child. My father was like a child. He couldn't do nothing for himself. And my son, he has the sickle cell disease. And he was bleeding from his nostril. The only way to cut that problem was to do a paranasal sinus artery surgery. And friends, the church prayed. And this was what happened. My son did the surgery and it was successful. Thanks be to God, he's back in school and he's doing well. My father, he wouldn't even say a word. He would just sit looking out in space. Wasn't talking, wasn't eating. And today he is eating down the place and when I say that I mean he's eating a lot of food and he's talking so much that sometimes we think as if you know his mouth will never shut up but friends that is the power of prayer and the power of Almighty God so friends God is real and I can tell you he has been there for me and I know because I have seen how he has led in the past, so I know he will continue to be with me and all of us who trust him for the future. And let me tell you this. Take a lesson from the tea kettle. No matter how the kettle is up to its neck with boiling water, it continues to sing. So I'm saying to somebody out there, regardless of your situation, you might be hooked on drugs, you might be hooked on pornography, you might be hooked on alcohol, you might be hooked on partying, you might be hooked on, on, on whatever your situation might be that's tearing you apart from God. God is saying to you tonight, just reach out to me and I'll reach out to you. And regardless of the situation that you are in, you can find God. So friends, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the life that one lives for God. So let us continue to serve Him and to trust Him and pray and believe and claim whatever we need by faith and the victory will be ours. One of these days, our hope will become a reality where we will see Jesus coming in the clouds of heaven. So friends, he is coming back and he's coming for a prepared people. And so my encouragement to you tonight is to seek him while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts.
God is calling you somewhere tonight. Won't you open your heart and accept him? God bless.